this video, I'm gonna be breaking Omni Man and showing you how overpowered he really is. If you like what you're seeing, like the video and subscribe to the channel. It helps me grow in more ways than one. So in the first match, we end up facing another Omni Man, and right there we go for a Lao setup into the overhead. That does give us a full combo if we land it successfully, but it doesn't matter. We get us into our little combo. This is the combo that I'm cooking right now with Lao, um, with Scorpion I, and Sonya. You can make that combo 20, 30 more damage, but we take the round with the little low and overhead. Now my main is General Shao, and one thing I'm not used to is having some really good normals. Like look at the mids he has. Keep in mind he has a string one two two, which is plus and safe if you end the string. So you get a lot of pressure. Sure. He does have a low right here and with Lao you can make that a full combo with Scorpion as well and Sonya There's a lot of cameos that can make that a full combo uh, You can make it a full combo without it anyways um, But it's just a little safer to have that cameo with you now I try to do something there I don't know what I was thinking but we end up getting caught and he goes into the fatal blow immediately I didn't even know you could do that, but uh, I guess you can um, uh, we're gonna be left with a little life here, so we're gonna have to play this really carefully. We put the Lao down into the overhead, into a full combo, he breaks. We both had the same idea, running into each other, but he went for the headbutt, and I went for the chest bump, and mine beat his, and we took the game. In the second match, we end up facing a Raikou, and we catch him immediately off that Kung Lao spin from the forward three, and this gives us huge damage. I mean, look at that, 365 off a of low is kind of crazy. He does have that overhead mix-up. The overhead doesn't lead to any combos, though. We catch him with the anti-air standing one into the one two into the stance into a full combo again 323 off our of anti-air pretty damn good we go to the overhead low but the low was a little too fast so we didn't get the full combo um and then we catch him with the chest bump trying to mash um he catches us with his little ddt um we get hit with the low we're gonna armor through that immediately we don't want nothing to do with that he's gonna just jump up and command grab i mean this command grab is insane striker into it where we have nothing all we can really do right there is block and pray or we just mash and i chose to block and we get hit with another command grab he catches us with the jump in kick and gets a pretty much full combo it didn't do that much damage so i'm not worried he throws the striker very smart i try to anti-air and i do get hit by it. we anti-air him anyways catch him with a full combo again we're gonna go into the 2-1-2 into the full dash 2-1-2 again into the 1-2 grab that gives us 351 off a of command grab into the low overhead again so the reason that didn't pop up is because we switched sides and the kung lao hat hit him and a reset but it doesn't matter we catch him with a 1-2-1 anyway in the third match we're going against the breast cancer omni man and he's using sonya it's just so we can actually display the sonya power she gives him a lot of damage we catch him with the back 1-1 one, one into the 2-1-2 grab into the air into another 212 dash 212 dash into the full 12 grab gives us a nice little 36% I wouldn't recommend using the combo he just did. I know there's better ones. He just used two bars for, what, like 30 more damage? I don't recommend that. With Sonya, you can get to 40% with like two bars. So look at the combo. We just did 378, and we didn't even use Cameo. Uh, so And we only use one bar. Uh, he catches with the full screen overhead. We go for the chest bump. He doesn't punish us, but he catches us anyways with the back 1-1. One, one. Into the Sonya, into the 2-2 two, two command grab meter burn. Into the 2-1-2 two, two dash, but he messes it up, and he goes for the thunder clap. We go for the knee papa, which is also safe, by the way. He goes for the low poke and he takes the round. Now, we started off with the low into the hat. For some reason, the little spin wasn't working this game, so I wasn't really trying to test that. We get him with a back 1-2 into the whole combo off of the overhead low. Into the air dashes, into the full combo. 370 off a of really hard to block combo. It's pretty damn good. We go for the overhead, but he delayed the wake up. Catches him with a back 1-1 into the Sonya. Into the 2-2 stance grab. He's going to toss us back up in the air with a 2-1-2 dash. 2-1... Oh, one, two dash. Now again, like he used two bars for almost 40%. With other cameos, you can get to 40, like Darius, you can get to like 45% easily, like with the same amount of combo. So I don't really recommend using that combo. He's going to panic and chest bump. We didn't punish it, but we go for the overhead. We're thinking of going for the low. And again, like that spin cycle wasn't working for some reason. He goes for the YOLO fatal blow and we just catch him and hit him with a brutal. Your parents must be disappointed. Brutality. 
In the next match, we catch a Molino right starting off with the overhead and do it again. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Catch her with the knee pop up into the stance. You can actually get more combo damage off of that with a 1 2, but I was trying to go for something crazy. You'll see later on. 347 off of that, not bad. We go for the knee into the stance and we're gonna get punished for this because we weren't thinking right. We're gonna break it immediately though. Molina does probably the best damage in the game right now. We go for the stance cancel into the 1 2 1. We're safe right there. Go for the poke, take our turn back into the grab. Her his standing one into the grab is actually really good it might be on the same level as Shao for me and then right there we just catch her going crazy for whatever reason we catch her projectile go into the little uh full punish stance i'll catch it with the knee again into the whole stance throw it back into the air go for our bnb &B. That combo is actually very easy to do. You just gotta get the timing right. We hit her with the overhead and switch stances. She's gonna try to get out of there, but that's a really unsafe move, and that's an easy punish for us. Into the 2 1 2, into the dash, into another 2 1 2, into another 1 2, and we try to go for the brutal, but we kind of missed it because we did a 1 2. But it's okay, I make up for it later on. Next up, we're facing another Omni Man. I mean, for the next week, we're gonna see nothing but Omni Man, let's be honest. Um, he's gonna try to go for the poke into the stance, and we're gonna catch him with a 1 2 into the stance. He's gonna break the combo very smart. You don't wanna start that match off like that we're gonna catch a mashing with the back one one and that's actually the optimal combo but i drop it um uh, that combo is really very hard to pull off but it's it does a lot more damage so that's how i was going for it and we hit it with a regular combo bnb in nice little 350 for a very relatively easy combo we catch him mashing if you meter burn that move you can actually parry practically everything and we catch him and do a full combo tell me that doesn't look sick we catch him again with the little stance he's gonna break it again we're whooping his ass so much he's getting so much breaker um he's gonna catch us with the poke into the stance into a full combo into the one two into the two one two dash into the full combo now that's how you really use sonia uh we're gonna go into our little setup but he's gonna jump and we're gonna catch him in the air he's gonna go for a chest bump in the air for whatever reason we're gonna catch him for a full combo again and uh, at this point i'm just hunting the brutality and we get it have i proven my point in the next match, we're really figuring Omni-Man out now. We go into the 1-2 into the full combo again. He's using Scorpion. I think that's his second best cameo right now uh, of what we know. We get a nice little 35% pretty much. Into the 1-2 into the Lao Hat. Into another one. Into the back dash into the back 1-1. One, one, into another combo, but we drop it. We're trying to go for the optimal one just so I can show you what it's actually like. Um, but we do end up dropping it. He goes for his own little combo. It looks way cooler, but it does less damage, so we're not going to really go for it. I think we can make the combo a little cooler, so I respect him for that. He goes into that combo again, and he's going to drop us right in the corner, which really doesn't matter with Omni-Man. We're going to catch him again with a 1-2. He's going to break that immediately. Catch him with the anti-air into the 1-2, into the full stance. I'm telling you, his standing one is a great anti-air if you need it. And we really didn't need to use meter there, but we just wanted to be sure. The only reason I did that combo is just so he knows I can do it too. We catch him again, but we couldn't convert the whole stance. We catch him with the anti-air again into the 1-2 into a full combo again. Right there we go for the pretty much guaranteed 1-11 into the back 1-1. One, one. He's going to break that and we're going to just grab him and take his head. In our final match today, we face another Omni-Man who has the same idea I do. We go into the 1-2, into the back dash, and that works every time. 1-2 is actually plus on block, so you can press anything you want after that. But the thing is like plus 3 or something, and his moves are good enough where you can like mash again. Now, is it just me, or with new characters, you kind of panic a lot more than you should? We didn't convert that combo somehow. We go for the back 1-2, into the 1, into the down poke, into the 1-2-2 one, two, two, full screen when he catch him with the last hit. Catch him with the little thing, go for that, and he blocks that somehow. Um, we're going to go for the low poke and get punished for it, and he's going to go for the full combo. This guy was probably the best Omni-Man I faced all day, and the pressure was real. I had to do something and get out of the corner, but he's just going to keep mashing into plus frames into Kung Lao. Uh, we chest bump out of there, go for the overhead. He could have punished us, but he was late. We go for the 1-2 into the back dash into the 1-1 into a full combo. We didn't go for the optimal one this time because we just wanted to get some damage on the board. Uh, but that combo still does 38%. That's, that's no joke either. 
He's gonna go for that low hat and we catch him mashing with a forward one two and we get a full combo again and now I can tell he's panicking. He breaks it very very late for whatever reason. We go into our unblockable and this time we're not dropping it and we're gonna take the game but we might as well do it with some fashion though. What a disgrace to your species. Brutality. If you want to see me master all 15 cameos in the game, I'll put that video up right here. And if you made it this far, you might as well like and subscribe. It helps me grow in more ways than one.